So it's actually been about a week since I last recorded the previous episode. I got like extremely early access to this game. And so we're now back on it. And I feel like this might be a little bit of a bumpy episode. So please do bear with me. This game is absolutely nerve wracking and it makes it really difficult to focus on everything that you have to do while still trying to survive and not let everything just kind of collapse on top of you. That being the electricity of the entire bunker that you have to keep regenerating. And then you've got this monster trying to kill you and whatnot. But anyways, if I remember correctly, the main goal was to acquire the dynamite to blow up the exit. And so all that is ultimately going to be um, achieved if we arrive at the arsenal, which is the one that circled with the big red marker there. We previously on the first episode did the uh, soldiers quarters, which I believe we got some sort of code there or something like that from a radio towards the end. I don't believe we can use that code yet because we still have to go to the prison and the maintenance and then hopefully that'll lead us to the arsenal. To be honest, not a whole lot of space left. I'm debating on putting the gas mask into my storage, which is something we unlocked previously. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that just for now. I don't know what we're going to get over at the prison. I'm going to keep a, a flare with me. And possibly a hand grenade. Okay. So I believe the prison is this way. Alright. We've got the flashlight here. Um, the gun was X. And I believe this was the clock to let me know how much electricity we've got on the building. Or in the bunker. Because technically that's what this is. Oh. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Let me let me sync up load. Options, load, return, go. Feel like I might be unsynced there. Could be wrong. Go ahead and crank this. Oh, this is getting wild. Oh shit, you see those holes? That's where that's where that creature comes from. Oh fuck. Hello? Can I open this? I cannot. See, one thing about this game is you cannot spend too much time either in certain areas. Like, if you get stuck on one spot and you just... Oh! What the... What is happening? Oh, uh, hello. I'm going, dude. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Oh, oh my God. Bro, what is happening? Okay, so we've got uh, some of this. Um, let me pull out my uh, revolver or whatever that's worth. Oh God! Wait, did I not just? What did I just pick up? Huh? right he's coming he's coming oh my god oh my god Okay, I know we just started, but this this is fucking nuts. 
All right, we've got a chain right there. Seems like we're gonna need some sort of bolt cutters. I'm trying to hear out the guy, uh, not the guy, the, the monster, so I can possibly escape or know how to escape. Anyways, uh, hint, this sub map has been added to the main map in the administration's office. Oh. That thing doesn't leave. All right, let's see if we can find something in here. Revolver bullets. Grab them. Grab them, damn it. Grab them. And another gas grenade. Do I want that? Fuck it. At this point, I'll take anything. But I don't have a gas mask, so I'll just keep... I'll just keep that in mind. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back over there and I'm gonna save. I, I, I just cannot afford to, to stay here and then die and then completely miss everything that I've that I've done, which honestly hasn't been a whole lot, but okay, my my nerves are getting the best of me. Alright, let me see. What do I throw? I'm gonna throw the rag in there. I don't think I need the rag right now. I had a stick. I could have sworn I had a stick earlier. I don't know where it went. Maybe it was in the uh, other area that I just came across it and didn't really take it with me. I, I've seen screenshots where you have like a torch. So I'm thinking the rag and the stick, you can probably combine those two and then fire it up and then becomes a torch. Um, now there is a prisoner over there. He keeps talking to me. It's probably best if I grab this and just smash that door. I have a feeling this might be a great idea or a terrible one. Let me put this here first. Hello? What are you saying, man? Shut up! Oh, he's got the plane. What do you- what does that mean? Do you not speak English? What is he saying? Oh, we're fucked. Alright, dude, you know what? You're just making noise. And you're not really helping out. Oh! Ah! Damn it. Wrench location note. Remember, if you need to remove a grading, request the special wrench from Foreman Stafford down in the maintenance. While you're there, ask him why they used these damn special screws on all the gratings. Very inefficient. So, if you need to remove the grating, request a special wrench from the Foreman Stafford down in the maintenance. Does that mean we're going to have to go to the maintenance? Oh, you ought to be shitting me. Yeah, if not, we're not going to be able to open up, open up any of these, uh... Doors or whatever. Oh, fuck! Whoa! You gotta be fucking kidding me! Oh my god, he's there. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
if that thing comes over here, we are so screwed. We're running out of gas. I just realized that. We're running out of gas. Look at my clock. I don't have any gas, do I? Hmm, I do not. We've really got to get out of here. There's just no other way. Uh -huh. Oh shit, we just got some meat. Doggy, doggy, doggy. What is this? Oh, God. Fuck. All right, I think we're... I think we're going to have to get out of here. I don't know what I'm holding in my hand. I don't know if this is a heart or what the fuck this is. But I'm out. I am out. Okay, here we go. We should have this map over there. This is a prison. We need the warden's office. Um... Can I get into the warden's office without, without the key, it seems, or... Yeah. Hmm. There's no way we can get in there. I'm just gonna double check. I would hate to leave something behind, yeah. Yeah, it's the warden's office. Bro, you gotta give me a clue, give me a hint, give me something. Me get this too. He made us understand. He got his hand. Bro, this game is terrifying. <laughs> All right, man, I'm out of here. It was nice to meet you. The prison is relatively small. Um, I kind of do wish we could just. Yeah, we gotta go inside the warden's office. If you can tell, in the middle, in the middle there, there's like some sort of console where you can open up the certain cells. And so once we go into the warden's office, we, we're gonna be able to disable the, the gate for that prisoner's cell, therefore allowing us to grab whatever tools in there. Okay, we've saved the game. I hate that there's no like auto save. Actually, I'm gonna go take this shit over there. Still got the sport bastard over here. Uh, what? Alright, let's take a look here. So we've got the uh, prison already unlocked. We now have to go over to the maintenance. God, the maintenance is go out of here, go all the way straight. in front of this lunatic's freaking thing, yeah. So, oh, this is what? Oh, God, look at this. How the hell do I? Oh, that's bullshit. How do I open? I mean, how do I get through that?
Ooh. Hello? What is this? Oh, this is the very beginning spot. Okay. Now the question is... This is just essentially a shortcut, if you will. I don't know how I'm gonna break through that, honestly. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh my god! Did I just destroy him? Bro, how does that thing die? Oh, oh, he's right there. Oh, fuck. Ooh. Get under the desk. We are running out of time here. Oh my. Hold on. You can pour fuel around. Damn, I'm, I'm gonna have to use, I'm gonna have to use this here. Ah, oh, shit. Um. Okay, now grab the flare. Whoa! can't come in here, right? Oh, I can! I feel like we need to preserve whatever little bit of electricity we've got left, which is not a whole lot. As long as we pull it one time, we should be fine, hopefully. The rats should be gone as well. Yes, yes. Hmm. D. Alphonse Alphonse doesn't say anything. Oh, come on, man. Give me a break. Nothing but skin and bones. Hold on. Before I head that way. Yo, this is fucking terrifying, dude. Yeah, it's probably it's probably best we don't come this way. Uh oh, what is that? The rats? <gasps> oh, those are the rats. All right, we can't go back that way. We oh, we're fucked. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna sync up again here. Sorry, load options, load return, go, just in case. this man rats keep out oh fuck oh my god he's right there Oh 
God, don't come any closer, damn it. What an idiot. He blew something up there. <laughs> kind of did me a favor. I don't know what the hell just happened, but... Is he in there? Bro, he just blew that shit up. What an idiot. Oh my god, look at all the fuel here. Alright, what do we got here? I think we just hit the jackpot. Stafford, have you noticed how the rats have changed down here lately? Ever since they opened up those tunnels, I swear the rats have gotten uglier. Like they're disfigured or something. And they're definitely more aggressive. Tell me that I'm not going crazy. You're not going crazy. I've seen regular rats. Those are definitely... Definitely not regular rats. Alright, and what is this? I think we just got another picture here. Alright, so that there they are burning the rats and the bodies, the corpses. I know we can burn the corpses. I think, right? Am I going crazy? I don't know. I don't remember, bro. <laughs> this is fucking nuts. Hmm. The submap has been added to the main map in the administration's office. Okay, so... Foreman's, uh... Quarters. We're at the clerks. So we have to go. We've got the supply storage. Gotta go up right and then go up the stairs. Hmm. We've also got a chapel. Oh, this place is massive, dude. What do we have here? Oh. That's very nice. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. I probably ought to go back and save the game. It's actually better when we play without the freaking light. Because we kind of don't have to worry about the light. Um, anyways. Let's see how far we can make it. I probably should go back and save the game at the very least. I kind of feel like maybe... Saving some of the fuel that we have uh, for later on. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> That's definitely not good. Anyways, I think we should save the fuel for later on. Oh, we've got these stupid rats here. Maybe if we just burn the body, the rats won't come back. I think that's what it was for. I can't see shit, man. My goodness. Yeah, it's almost impossible to play. It's better. I think. Yeah, fuck that. Oh my god. Alright, it's time to turn on the light. Screw that. Oh man, I can't deal with that. Whoa. Absolutely disturbing. I kind of wish we had like a... Like a remote where we can turn off... The light from over there, right? Like if we don't want the power to be consumed, just kind of turn it off from, rem you know, remotely. Versus having to come all the way back over here. It's kind of annoying. Anyways, uh, we've got some of this. We've got some meat. Alright, so we need to go to the foreman's quarters now. All the way in the maintenance. This is the other area. We haven't been here. We've just got a cloth. That's where that thing came from. Fuck. Can I mix the cloth? Like, combine them? Oh, that's right. That's what my... <laughs> Never mind. Oops. Can I just, like, do this? Does this not block the uh, entrance? I mean, that's what that should be for, right? Hopefully. One one less hole is is... Definitely... Worth taking my time on. Okay, 
Okay, I've got to be very careful. Oh my god. What is this, bro? Mormon's quarters. Yeah, this guy doesn't have anything on him. Can't open that either. Uh, uh, uh. What the fuck was that? Run, 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 Stay down, you idiot. Stay down, you idiot. Let it cry. Get out of here. It's gone. More cloth. That seems kind of important. Oof. Okay, so we've got to go to the workshop. Foreman's. You, you've got to be kidding me, dude. All right, hold on. 1814. Key rod. I'm going to take this cloth, uh, start combining them. Probably best we go save right about now. We've got some Molotovs. Note to a dear friend, Gavin. I promised you a Christian burial, uh, but you must understand the rats would not stop coming. They swarmed your body, their teeth, their claws. They would not stop. I did what, I, what our ancestors did when uh, <clears throat> faced with unclean things. I burnt them, and I burnt... Uh, what was left of you to stop them coming again. So this is basically the game confirm you can burn the bodies for the rats to stop. If you've made it to heaven, please forgive me. I remain down here in hell with the demon. It will come for me again soon. I know it. I'm going to do as you suggested before you died. Make for the pillbox. Please, if you're up there, watch over me. Shit, I think in this spot, I, I'd rather die. <laughs> Literally. Bro, how scary is that shit? Now, are we still bleeding? A little bit, right? I think so. We've got to be careful because if we are bleeding, we could leave a track of blood. And then he's going to know where we're at. Alright, we're good. I think the monster should be gone as well. Where's our electricity at? About halfway. I think we can get this. Ah, shit. Fuel bottle. We can make a 
Molotov with that. I'll leave that there for now. Hello? Oh, but you gotta throw- you gotta- How do you throw this? How do you light it up? A bottle with a strip of cloth inserted can be thrown. Well, oh, that's some stupid shit. I have a molot- Empty bottle with cloth. But it's not an empty bottle. This one's got something. Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. Ah! 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 An improved incendiary device shatters and burns on impact. Uh. Let's go to down on the D pad. Why isn't it not? Requires a lighter to use. <laughs> Is there no lighter in there? Fuck. You didn't leave me a lighter? Bro, I probably should go save. Oh my god. Ooh. Hello? Uh. What do we have here? A stick. Okay. More fuel. Perfect. Okay, hold on. Um... Damn, dude. Honestly, I'll drop, uh... Wow. We're gonna have to come back here. Leave these things here. Will you stop rolling? Another stick. Okay, we can grab this stick. And the rag. And now we can combine this with this, and we've got a torch. Perfect. Alright, we're going places here. We're starting to acquire new... new things. That's another... another rag, a cloth. I think we've got to go that way. In order to go that way, we're gonna have to get rid of the rats. In order to get rid of the rats... We're gonna have to go save. Yeah. I'm gonna go save the game. I, I don't feel confident here right now. I'm gonna have to go save the game. Oh, shit. And then we can come back and if we die, it's fine. Because we've saved. Alright, so we've come to the locker room real quick. If you guys remember, we have a code for a so-called G-Rod. I was here earlier, I couldn't find it. Um, maybe it just kind of... ...passed my eyesight or whatever. I just, I just could not see it. Um, thankfully I decided to... ...come back... ...for a second time, just to make sure. Cause it just made no damn sense. What is this? Oh, the lighter. Cast a dim light and can be used to set fires. Alright, hold on. We've got some meat. Hopefully this works. I think it's working. Oh my god, he's coming.
Oh my god, how? <laughs> how the fuck? How did that even happen? How? Like, it makes no sense. Alright, I remember all these things here. Okay, now I can... Ah! Now we're talking! <gasps> Away, demons! <laughs> Yo, this changes everything! Hopefully this doesn't go to waste. Okay. Oh my god. Alright, can I put this away? Oh my gosh, this is incredible. Pillbox. If you require a pillbox access, see me or the father the rise. We're both in possession of a key form in Stafford. Uh munition storage. Oh, I thought the rat was gonna. Bro, there's no way. How do I get rid of that? Man, I've got no... Also, the torch does go to waste. <laughs> okay, we're somewhere decent. Fuel storage? Fuck, fuck. That's not good. Oh my god. This place is massive here. Okay, what do we have here? You can use empty bottles on fuel... Uh, on the fuel tank to... Uh, oh shit, okay. Good, good, good. We actually have... Um, fuel bottle. A bottle filled with fuel can be thrown. I can throw the Molotov. It's a petrol bomb. So can you use these in the uh wonder if you can use these Oh he's coming Oh my god, he's there. He might be gone. Am I safe? Oh man, I do not want to lose all the progress we've made. Okay, I'm gonna go to the chapel. Or whatever the hell that is. There's like a crucifix there or something. Yep, it says chapel. Oh my god. Hey, 
It's open. Boy, oh, that's a good thumbnail right there. Hold on. He's coming. Sorry, I gotta do it for the thumbnail, just in case. <laughs> um, we are in the chapel. Chaplain. Uh, what the heck? Yeah, this barely gives me any light. Did the lights just turn off in the whole place? Oh, that is fantastic. Right on the fucking money, man. What the fuck? Hello? Okay, I'm gonna hide. Okay, we've got that code. Oh man, I don't even want to be here. Oh, I'm gonna close that door. Can't close it. What does this say? Is this from the 11th of July, 1916, dusk? I sit now at the bedside of my dear friend, Henri Clément. The doctor has left, but I remain. I feel I must record the extraordinary twists of fate and fortune that have led me to be here, breathing, alive, strong and well, while Henri lies unconscious, fighting for his life. It starts days ago, on a night patrol. I fell into some kind of pit. I was injured, unable to move, unable to escape. By all rights, it should have been my tomb. I cried for help, screamed myself hoarse. The effort left me parched, exhausted, and still low. As the next night fell, as I cried what might have been my last cry for help, I could see the stars high, high above, beautiful, indifferent. And then Clément's face appeared at the top of the pit. He lowered himself to me, found a trickle of spring water there, and let me drink from it. Wow. It was cool and crisp with a strange, sweet taste. Never has water felt more nourishing than that. Administered by a dear friend's hand. I was saved. Mm -hmm. But of course, that is not the last twist fate's blade would stab into my back. 11th of July, 1916. Night. Later now, I continue my tale. As Clément carried me across no man's land, Fate struck again. A German outpost spotted us. Gunfire. Explosions. Desperation. And as the air cleared, I pulled myself to my feet and saw that Henri was wounded. Blood pouring from his head. His eyes glassy. He was fading. I do not know where I found the strength to carry him. But carry him I did. All the way back to our bunker. 12th July, 1916. Morning. Woke this morning and realized that a toy I purchased for my son is gone. Hmm. I promised him I'd bring him something home from the front, so I brought him a stuffed rabbit from a local shop. <laughs> a rabbit because he thinks he's so fast. <laughs> must have fallen from my pack when I fell into the crater. The thought of that stuffed rabbit lying in that crater, rain and weather met in its fur, unloved, forgotten, totally gone, lost forever. It fills me with profound hopelessness. 12th July, 1916. Afternoon. Spoke to the doctor. He told me Henri woke in the night and had no recollection of the events in the crater. Indeed, he seemed even confused as to where he was. Aside from this disturbing news, I'm feeling rather good. Stronger and stronger. As if the whole ordeal has filled both my body and soul with new purpose. Wow. That's the guy that rescued us. We went to rescue him and then he rescued us. If you guys um remember. So it seems like he probably came here to confess. I mean look as shitty of a light that this gives us. It's still better than nothing.
Okay, this is really bad. I'm gonna have to get the torch. We're gonna have to get this torch and get out of here. How do I, uh, put it away? Alright, good. Oh, you can actually put it away. That's actually awesome. Got the key to the pillbox. This is genius. Okay, is there anything, huh? Anything else here that we can use? Pharmaceuticals. That seems like uh, from the other side we could have broken that. Anyhow, we're going to climb up here. I probably should be going back, to be honest. I should be going to save instead of trying to play hero and trying to get this far ahead. <gasps> oh! Whoa, who's that? Stafford. Oh my. There he is. Poor bastard. Whoa. Alright, I'm gonna chill out before I get my head blown off. Last thing I need is to die like this. else here right oh man what a terrible death all right we've got to go save if i can go save i'll feel super super good right now shit i almost rather be about down here than over there thing broke through this door i remember i put something there for it not to come in but i guess it just doesn't really matter have to make a decision here We gotta go. We gotta save. We gotta go. Fuck off. Oh! We gotta go. I cannot afford anything but success right now. Nothing but success. Put that shit away. We've got ourselves uh, a good amount of stuff. Um, except fuel, but that's fine. We now have a different source of light. Um... Man, this is getting fucking nuts, bro. So we've got the arsenal code. Uh, we now have two different locker codes. And though, if we go back here, we've got the mission storage, which is now, we have to go back. Hmm. Mission storage. Okay, we go. To, we, we still have to go to the, the prison. We gotta go to the 
excuse me, we gotta go to the prison and then open up the warden's office. We have to go to the warden. Did I just hear something? The fact that we've made it this far into this game surprises me. Truthfully. I keep forgetting we got a shortcut for that. Oh man, look at this. Much needed fuel. Alright, so we have Barden. We have the codes for Stafford and uh Eau Claire. Eau Claire. Okay, that's Stafford right there. Alright, let's do this one first. Stafford is the main one, so we'll do that one after. 4770. What do we got here? A med pack. Revolver bullets. Okay. That actually saved me last time. I love how you do have a gun, but honestly, the gun is the, one of the most insignificant things that, that you can actually have in this game. Because the bullets are so scarce, it's almost pointless. But that's good. I mean, if you're trying to get scared, that is. We now got the wrench. I'm going to close this locker up. What is the code? Zero six five two. Zero six five two. Anything down here? No, literally just a wrench. All right, boys, we've got the wrench. The sweet melody of a victory. All right, we've got to be careful. I'm gonna go up here and save again, of course. There's no other choice but to save the game. Alright, so this has changed. Um, we now have the mission storage already taken off of the map. And it's crazy because we've almost done everything. I mean, we could go back and kind of keep exploring a little bit. There's a lot to explore, obviously, but we've done a good amount of things. Anyhow, um, the warden's office and... Okay. Let's see. Let's go ahead and grab this fuel. I guess for that, for whatever that's worth. Okay. So, now that we're down here, take a look at the map real quick. Um, oh, fuck. That thing is here. I need for that thing to hide. I need it to go back inside. I cannot afford to waste time right now. Alright. I believe it went back inside. We have a wrench. Um, hold on. I'm trying to think. The wrench... I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. We don't have a key. We have a wrench. But I, I, I believe the wrench was used somewhere in here. I hate using this source of light, to be honest. I'd rather use the lighter at this point. A lot more discreet. But I think the wrench was for this. Here we go. Wow. 
One at a time? You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> okay, good. So they're not all... Perfect, perfect. Bro, shut up! You're gonna get ourselves... You are a fucking idiot. I swear, you come over here, I'm blasting your brains out. Good. It's so out there. <laughs> Save me. Possibly. Let's get in here. Grab some fuel. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? I gotta drop this. Um... Poor man. He's an absolute moron. Another first aid. Uh, maybe I had a. Uh, I can't. I can't drop any of this. What the fuck was that? Hold up, hold on to your horses. Update on the prisoner. 73014. Oh, with the rest of the Salemti, I have begun a program of aggressive inter uh, interrogation. I hope the screams have not kept you awake. He continues to insist that he is a common soldier, that his rank was accidentally torn from his uniform. And that he knows nothing of the second army's plans. Do not believe him. I've ordered rations for the next three days. When the next, uh, when next he's fed, I assume his gratitude will loosen his tongue. I f a final note says this work would be much easier if the officer wine rations, uh, rations. I'm sorry, were loosened. They were low on rations for wine. Remember. So I'm out of here. I am fucking out of here. We've got that already. Oh my. So we've got the we've got the tools of the trade. I mean, we've got everything we needed. We've got 
we've we've got the wire cutters or the bolt cutters excuse me uh we've got the wrench we've <laughs> we've got it all baby yeah It's just a matter of coming here and saving, locking this door shut, and uh, not worrying about a damn thing except for that, because he could come from there. Yeah, that's fucking screwed. If I can hide here a little bit. Anyways, um, let's take a look over here. Did I save the game already? I'm, I'm, I'm confused. <laughs> we gotta go now to the arsenal. Once we go to the arsenal. We should be able to put the code that we've got. We've got the arsenal code. We also have... Actually, that's the only code we've got left. The arsenal code. And once we go there... I think that's where we finish the game. Possibly. Um, I'm assuming. I'm hoping. Maybe. But I think this is a really good spot to end this video. I, I feel like this was a really good episode. A lot of areas where this thing just completely came out of nowhere and surprised the crap out of me. But again, I am very, very shocked with myself that we've been able to make it this far. This is totally, totally terrifying, and I hate everything about this. <laughs> but it's a good game. It's a great game, even, to be honest. Um, and I hope you guys are enjoying it. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more, feel free to drop this video a like. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.